Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Chasing Creativity. This is Kiran Mangal and today I have with me as a guest is an old friend, a very talented writer and now director, to be director, Pankaj. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Kiran. Thanks so for inviting me. So good to have you here. Finally, we meet after almost over 10 years of yes. living in the same city and never meeting. I remember that was in Jim Corbett. That's right. Kumau, lit first year. That's right. And uh, you came there as an author. But before that, uh, Pankaj, you've had a very checkered, interesting career. You, you've you come from a small town. You just mentioned your, the small town you came from. From there, you've been all over the place. You've gone from to all the major metros in India to London itself, where you began your career in the BBC. True that, yeah. So tell us a bit about that journey of Pankaj, the young boy from Chaibasa to London to the BBC. Thank you so much. <laughs> so yeah, so I was born in Manchi, but I grew up in Chaibasa. That's my best friend now in Jharkhand. Mm -hmm. So my father was posted there, mm -hmm. and he was a professor, English literature, Tata College. And I grew up over there. It was quite an interesting place. It still is an interesting place, a small town of my childhood memories. And I keep visiting there. I launch all my books there. So over there, uh, initially, our only window to learn language, Hindi, was the shows coming on Doordarshan. English was in place, manageable, uh, because of my father. And we had quite an interesting demographic profile over there. People were from, because strategically, geographically, Chaibasa is very close to West Bengal and Orissa as well. So we had sizable population from uh, West Bengal from Orissa. So I can speak and understand Bangla. Mm -hmm. I can understand Oriya, but I can't speak Oriya. Okay. But yeah, and Hindi and a little bit of Ho. Okay. That's Ho is a tribal language. Tribal. I have many friends from the Ho tribe. Okay. Yeah. And they have different script, different language altogether. And then of course, so from there, uh, because always uh, imagination was the key factor. So I always wanted to make it big. And uh, since my childhood, fame was quite fascinating. Mm -hmm. So I used to think I'll go somewhere, I'll go out, I'll go to maybe Delhi. And then I used to chase seniors who would be in Delhi, who would come uh, during their summer vacations. Ki, Please come to meet my father and we'll discuss about my plans. And they would come and discourage ki nahi nahi abhi to bahut chota hai thoda bada ho jaye tab after 12th maybe. Okay. But that time came then I came to Delhi and I was not at all brilliant academically. I was quite an average scorer but I was quite confident all the time with my share of logic and uh, I was a debater all my life. So I used to think ki yaar Delhi University mein to average students bhi jate hi honge na. Mm -hmm. Every student studying in Delhi schools, they don't get 95 percent. Wahan bhi 70 percent wale hote honge na. Mm -hmm. So why uh, can't I go? Aur Kabul mein bhi gade hote hain. To main gada hi se. <laughs> so <laughs> this self-deprecating humor, you know, worked always. And then I got a chance and I joined a college called Satyavati Evening with History Honors. And from there, the debating continued because Delhi University is quite a fertile land for students mm -hmm. interested in uh, co-curricular activities, be it debating, theater, mm. elocutions, creative writing and all of that. And from there, uh, then I got through the campus law center. I'm also a law graduate. Okay. So that was an entrance they organize all India level. And then I got through that, joined CLC. Idea was not to be a lawyer mm -hmm. because I had read it in all my history books that all the big achievers were also lawyers. Oh. All the freedom fighters were also lawyers. Mm -hmm. So I thought it's going to be a good option of, for my career. One, two, I'll get three more years in the university so I can <laughs> keep contesting in debates, okay. keep participating in debates. So I finished my law and I did film studies from Jamia. And that was the time. Uh, when I used to be in a place, Mukherjee Nagar, where I used to think that uh, here uh, the students, all the students, if you categorize them, were only of two types. One, category one was of students who were preparing for civil services. Mm -hmm. And category two were students who were preparing to prepare for civil services. Okay. So, <laughs> so they would be known by the optional subjects 
दे हैड इन सिविल सर्विसेज कि जो उनका जोग्राफी एंथ्रो है वो सोशोलॉजी वाले भैया को बुलाओ वो सर एंथ्रोपोलॉजी वाले हैं उनसे बात कर लेते हैं विथ लॉ सो इट वॉज क्वाइट एन इंटरेस्टिंग एको सिस्टम बट देन आई थाट एंड दैट वॉज द टाइम आई मेट माई गर्ल फ्रेंड my friend who became my girlfriend and who is my wife now and we had hundreds of hours of discussions and we discussed that for me the right field is media mass comm and i have been debating by then i had won five nationals and i had represented india hmm. in the debating in the debating space. yeah and i was bilingual so i was uh, fluent with both the languages both the languages so then i got a uh, got and got through one mm. of the universities in england coventry university coventry mm-hmm. school of art and design to do my masters in applied communications mm-hmm. and i flew off and uh, over there uh, a different journey was there and then i tried to get through the bbc world service uh, and i made it and uh, i joined as a broadcaster so it just went on happening and uh, i was always self motivated lovely yeah A lot of us aren't, so we should take heat from you, Pankaj, <laughs> because we keep on, you know, okay, कुछ नहीं हो रहा है कोई बात नहीं. But this is very interesting, and that you went to the BBC and you went into media, and uh, media yeah. is a very different beast yeah. from what you do right now. Oh yes, oh yes. Of course, there is storytelling, but that yeah. is storytelling based yeah. on facts. Right yeah. now, you're yeah. a storyteller based on imagination, imagination and based on fiction. What made you decide to leave media to get into the space of pure storytelling? I would say. So I consider everything under media. That was non-fiction. Mm-hmm. This is fiction. Mm-hmm. So after coming back from London to Delhi, after watching Shah Rukh Khan's Swadesh, so I we have Shah Rukh to blame for you coming <laughs> no, back. No, no, I'm quite happy about <laughs> it. So I thought I'll just go and blow the whistle here. So that's why I wanted to listen to the stories of my friends. That's a story, but. actually us samay the plans uh, plan was to do some journalism in india mm-hmm. so yahan pe aake i was with channel 7 for some time which is ibn 7 and then some other name has come now network 18 i think then i joined aaj tak and uh, after joining these places in india i thought uh, how is it different from fiction how is it that's a very valid yeah. question for so Kaj. when i said it's a very weighted yeah. loaded to question yeah so i thought if i have to do fiction better say that say i want to do fiction and do fiction don't say i'm doing news and do fiction yeah so and the system was so good when i was with tv today that any 10th grader could also go and work over there because of their process the process is really good quite robust the system is good so i thought my contribution is not needed mm-hmm. and enough of uh, covering others i wanted to be covered so i took that i attained moksh <laughs> from news and i thought of doing something else and then i resigned and after that i wanted to come to bombay but i knew many people nobody knew me mm-hmm. so i thought i should develop some network i should watch some film, some films and to do that i thought of curating film festivals okay but the question was who is going to give me job because i had not done that before without the experience and curating a film festival is quite a task challenge yeah, challenge. yeah. so then i thought of initiating india's first street film festival for children in slums and villages okay by the name of sadak chhap film festival okay so i had an ngo had been incorporated when in college hmm. so under that banner spriha i started that I tied up with CFSI mm-hmm. to procure films, children's cinema, mm-hmm. and then I would uh, request to give them, give me projectors. Then I would go to slums and show screen films, okay. conduct workshops. So I did that in uh, Delhi, Bombay, Bangalore. When I came to Mumbai to do that for the first time, that was the time when Slum Dog Millionaire had gone uh, okay. won Oscars, okay. and I invited the child protagonist from the film, Rubina Ali, to do that. I screened films in Dharavi, and from there I went to Bangalore, to Ranchi, Patna, many places. And for the, that initiative, I got a Youth Icon Award for Social Entrepreneurship uh, in Karnataka. Lovely. And then many corporates reached out to me to help them curate their film festivals. Okay. So uh, in three years' time, I did f- more than fifty festivals across India. 
and in which space i mean what were these festivals like this was a street film festival for this was one then yeah. you must have heard of jagran film festival yes, i was the one to start that okay the first two years i did 2010 and 11 mm -hmm. i was curator a consultant from outside of course okay. jagran was my client and then uh, i did uh, something called pravasi film festival for the filmmakers of indian origin Mm -hmm. So everyone, right from Meera Nair, Gurinder Chadda, and all of them, they had come to India, Inter India Habitat Center in New Delhi. Okay. Some thirty-six countries participated. Okay. Some from here also. Lovely. Were there? So, a lot of festivals happened, and by then I had uh, sizable uh, friends in Bombay, and I had watched uh, some films, few films, to understand the milieu, and in the year twenty twelve. I shifted from Delhi to Mumbai with mm -hmm. my wife and little daughter, who is no more little now. Yeah. Time flies. Yeah. So from films and curating a film, many film festivals, you also branched out into telling your own stories and becoming yeah. a writer. Yeah. So there were books. You wrote yeah. your first book. Yeah. Then you got on to writing scripts. Yeah. So, at what point and how did you realize that there were stories that you also wanted to tell rather than watch other people's stories? Actually, this was there from the beginning. Okay. I did two films to as script supervisor to learn the craft of filmmaking. Okay. As soon as I came here, uh, uh, films for Ghanchakkar, mm -hmm. Disney UTVs, starring Imran Hashmi and Vidya Balan. I was script supervisor on that, and then I did a film called Choranga. Mm -hmm. It won Best Film Award in Mami and then in Ifla, Los Angeles. So then I got a couple of more similar offers, but by then it was clear that I'm fine. I can direct. So direction was there in mind. So then the thought was, how is my story different from others and better? Then mm -hmm. authorship ka idea came. Mm -hmm. The seeds had come in London. Keep, I have to write books. Mm -hmm. uh, wo story, uspe wo bhi batunga. That's quite dilchasp. उसमें क्या था वंस आई वॉज कमिंग बैक फ्राम बी बी सी वर्ल्ड सर्विस आफ्टर माई नाइट शिफ्ट एंड इन द मॉर्निंग मैंने देखा कि सेंट्रल लंडन में भीड़ लगी हुई है अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल स्टैंडिंग वेयरिंग ओवर कोट विद देयर कॉफी मग्स तो बहुत इंडिया जैसा माहौल लगा एंड देन आस्ट माई कैबी टू स्टॉप एंड फाइंड आउट वॉट्स हैपनिंग आई वॉज ऑलवेज क्यूरियस सो आई आस्ट दैम मोस्ट ऑफ दैम वेर एशियंस कि वॉट्स हैपनिंग दे सेट के हैरी पॉटर सीरीज की नई बुक आई है जे के रोलिंग की and as soon as the store opens it will all get exhausted so we are here waiting for the store to open abhi 4 baje the 8:30 the shop would open ha so mujhe laga writers are big stars in this country <laughs> and uh, authorship mujhe laga this is one thing which is almost under your control because while trying film making it's like weighing जिंदा फ्रॉक्स को तराजू में तोलने जैसा है बिकॉज देर सो मेनी वेरिएबल्स कभी आपकी स्टोरी वैसी कोई और स्टोरी आ गई एक्टर नहीं मिला एक्टर मिल गया तो उसकी पिछली फिल्म फ्लॉप हो गई प्रोड्यूसर का माइंड बदल गया एन नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स सो मुझे लगा यार मेरी स्टोरी को पहले लेट मी ब्रिंग इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ नॉवल इफ आई गेट अ गुड पब्लिशर मतलब देर इज सम एक्सेप्टेबिलिटी सो द बिगेस्ट नेम आई कुड थिंक ऑफ वॉज पेंग विन एंड आई रीच आउट टू देम एंड दे लाइक द स्टोरी एंड they came up with an idea ki will give you very little advance royalty i said yaar aap mujhe mangte to bhi main de deta you are giving it me an opportunity so i got this two language deal they thought ki tum dono languages mein likho originally aur mujhe bhi ye interesting laga because i had not seen anyone doing that to i did my first book what a loser and then loser kahin ka it set in the north campus of delhi university so in the name of romance i do my share of socio political commentary parents commentary okay or it's a largely a conflict of identity of a small towner coming to a metropolis what a loser it's a satire to wo kar li phir wo acha it did well so then they asked me my editors ki okay you keep on trying your film thing write the next one <laughs> <laughs> and they gave me two more well rather four more books okay a deal so i wrote another one i created a new word called ishkiapa mm -hmm. to help with love and it was quite interesting set it, it had politics and love set in the darker part of bihar where kidnapping was an industry 
and uh, mm -hmm. love for politics and politics of love everything was there then ekta kapoor picked that mm -hmm. to make a web series balaji then happened love kari that was set in the diaspora set up uh, in england then trending in love uh, that was set in the is academy of masuri and the latest one is called one string attached one that's string a, attached. yeah that's a period uh, set up it's set in ayodhya and delhi mm -hmm. uh, between the demolition of a mosque and the commonwealth games it's a love story of a tailor so lovely so all your books have uh, while the socio political commentary is in place love is a constant element yes 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 so is that a fulcrum on which you sort of build yeah. on all your narratives yeah 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 i i'm a practitioner of romance and i feel that love can solve most of the problems we have mm -hmm. people have stopped loving when i say love it's not just between a boy and a girl or a boy and a boy or a girl or a girl it would being in that uh, l you know romantic frame of mind mm -hmm. then the way you look at things problems and communication gaps is quite different mm -hmm. it solves it makes you a better person i believe okay when you see look at things lovingly it helps solve things better what is your writing process like pankaj so my process is i'm quite character driven mm -hmm. so i'm quite observant and uh, if any character in society fascinates me i delve deep mm -hmm. and i see whether the elements of that character stay with me for mm -hmm. some time mm -hmm. and then i start plotting around that in my uh, novels in my stories say there are five characters but they are not from five real characters but maybe from 12 real characters i have assimilated 12 real characters into five fictional characters okay i may take some elements of character a some from b and i can create a c okay so my writing process is character driven Okay. Yeah, and then the plot happens, and then. Okay, so is the plot organic, or do you sort of uh, once you have your character in place, and you know you start writing, do you do your synopsis chapter wise, and work it out, or you just let's see where the character goes, or क्या होता है इसके साथ? दोनों है थोड़ा थोड़ा. First, I write a short story. Okay. कि ये character है इसकी कहानी क्या होगी? उसका beginning, middle, end क्या होगा? हम्म. फिर मुझे लगता है ये तो बहुत कम है. इसको इस मोड पे समवन एल्स आल्सो मेट या इसकी जिंदगी में कॉन्फ्लिक्ट कम है कुछ और कॉन्फ्लिक्ट क्या हो सकता है सो ए राइटर से ट्वेंटी पेज शॉर्ट स्टोरी एंड देन आई एलेबोरेट द आउटलाइन फिर आई चैप्टर आइज बट आई एम नॉट देन रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टू दैट एज वेल बहुत इनडिसिप्लिन हूँ उस फॉर्मेट को तोड़ने के लिए भी आई क्रिएट दैट टू हेल्प मी बट वेन आई सी इफ इट्स फ्लोइंग ऑर्गेनिकली एंड द न्यू फ्लो इज बेटर देन द already thought after thought out uh, outline hmm i ditch okay the outline ekdam se break up aage badho mm hmm that so it's uh, not hard and fast for you no 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 because i guess also because the genre is such that you yeah. can't take the liberty if you're yeah. writing crime then you wouldn't be able to do that you yeah, would have yeah. to stick yeah, to the yeah of course because that's uh, quite you know formula oriented also yeah. in and crime you, you oh, need yeah. your red herrings you need to know who's the yeah. murderer yeah, and yeah, everything yeah. lovely Screen writing is a very different ball game yes. from writing a book. Yeah. What are the challenges from of screen writing, which is very different that most people who are writing books or plan to write both don't realize? Actually, I am an author just by chance. Mm -hmm. I'm basically a screenwriter. Okay. So when you read my books, or th those who read my book, they find it very screenplayish. Okay. Because scenes are there, and you can imagine the world. Okay. So I'm, I know I'm going to face a lot of challenge when I'm going to make a film, because all my readers have a different film of my books mm -hmm. in their head. Mm -hmm. They'll start comparing their films in their head with the one I'm going to make, okay. and then they'll reject me. कि यार ये वाली जो मैंने सोची थी वो बेटर है. And that's not that's the case with every book. Yeah, that's not, there. Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, if you there's just, adaptation ki challenge hai. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Even if you look at something as magnificent as Lord of the Rings, yeah, yeah, it yeah. still falls short of yeah, your imagination. Yeah, yeah. So, but having said that, yeah. but yeah, as a writer who has crossed both these genres and mm. both these uh, kinds of writing, yeah. writing for screen as well as writing 
a book in which the reader has to use their imagination yes. and writing for screen where things are depicted so the imagination yeah. is not used yeah what are the what do you think a writer should keep in mind what are the differences no i think the writer should just keep in mind the purpose okay what is the purpose of that content they are creating mm-hmm. are they going to can get it adapted into that medium to wo apne aap aane lagti cheeze Mm-hmm. then you stop writing ki uh, the bag was black yeah because yeah. it's it's there it's not it's, dis- it's there descriptive is not needed uh, not needed because if you go by classical text uh, in books why you have all the liberties ki aap ek description mein you can spend a lot of time and pages and readers are also you know lying down reading for hours but now the biggest challenge with the writers is attention span is coming down Mm-hmm. if it's boring people won't read it mm-hmm. because they have n number of options and they're disturbing mobile n number of apps they use so the challenge is to keep it intriguing otherwise they'll not read it they'll mm-hmm. read the blurb right wow kiran what a book you have written but they that don't read they won't read the book yeah mm-hmm. that's a big problem so you have to have click hanger hangers and you have to have everything that interests them your target readers mm. so i come back to the point from where i started the purpose has to be clear in the minds of the writer okay. why do we write why are we writing what are we writing for yeah lovely you know as a another thing about writing for screen versus writing a book a book is a very solitary process oh yes you are in your room and you're writing this book and you're creating these characters out of nowhere but when you're writing for screen it's a very collaborative process yes true that you need to consider what inputs you may get from other people so so how does it work for you as somebody who is of course written your books on your own and now when you write for screen do you do you feed off that energy of the collaboration or do you wish that you you know could do your own thing and then take it forward to the next person so uh till one level mm. up to one level you do on your own okay because it's your vision mm. you should be very clear about your brief even if a team is there mm. ki what do we want what do we intend what kind of emotions we want to emote what is the mm. uh, conflict what is the resolution that all has to be in place uske baad all the ideas are welcome then you sit in a writer room, room. and then you dis- discuss sometimes good Uh, plot points may also come one has to be open to accept if it's working in favor of the story okay. and the impact okay so the that democratization is there in writing a uh, screenplay mm-hmm. that is there and because the purpose is different again wahan to film mein nahi wahan pe bahut hame kahin bhi hum log miss nahi kar sakte interesting cheezon ko mm-hmm. we'll have to keep on working, working again and, and fine again. tuning it fine tuning it improvising it that's very interesting when you're writing a film but now you're going to be directing a film yeah. that you've uh you've written also yourself taking your own vision to screen hmm. that's a challenge because very yeah. often you, when you're writing it you have something in your head but then technical issues or you know mm-hmm. you know translating a vision mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. imagination mm-hmm. onto screen as we just discussed that mm-hmm. adaptations are very difficult yeah. to do mm-hmm. but taking your own work and adapting it for screen mm-hmm. have you found that process difficult have you found challenges in that do you so, find uh, something yeah. that you never even thought about earlier when you were writing no because this thing this activity was of primary importance mm-hmm. for me I moved to Bombay to make films. Okay. ठीक है. So everything was happening around this. Writing also, uh, publishing also happened mm. because making a film was taking time, and I wanted my story to get accepted. Mm-hmm. So the authorship, I never grew up thinking I'll be a published, I, I'll be a published author someday. Mm. So I have to tell stories, and I'm platform agnostic. So I feel. uh they have an edge films have an edge over books because you can reach out to more people you can reach out to people who can't even read mm-hmm. you can reach out to people who don't have time to read mm-hmm. they are flying and flight mein dekh lenge train mein dekh lenge ghumte hue dekh lenge mobile pe dekh lenge so 
for my stories to reach out to more and more people this medium fascinated me mm-hmm. quite a lot so i worked hard to learn the craft that's why i did those films i did i directed a short film i told you i yes. produced a couple of short films for my friends so i have been practicing all of this and on the basis of uh, the good performance of my short film the mm-hmm. producer spotted me to direct a feature film lovely which is ha- going to happen soon tell us a bit more about this yeah so this is a social satire the primary story uh, has been written by my friend puneet sharma and then we collaborated and uh, it's a social satire in the thriller space and it's set in delhi so this is what i can tell you now <laughs> <laughs> and uh, because we are in the casting process once yeah. it's signed Fine. and all everything is done the actors actors are locked will announce because i believe in spreading awareness about my around my projects lovely and uh, where bombay is all about money and commerce yeah delhi is politics, politics. And so did you have to research this environment and how did you get to the nitty gritty of this very i mean yeah. you lived there for a while i know yeah, yeah. but were you in that political space or did you have to research it up oh yes even while doing journalism i was you were oh, there. Yeah, yeah yeah and this tea, when i say social satire this is of course set in delhi but it's quite universal okay it's quite universal it could happen in bombay in bangalore in hyderabad anywhere in kolkata anywhere okay okay so it's not so, no it's so very specific. delhi has nothing to do with, with this us. Okay. but uh, the success the big city mm-hmm. the professional success uh, i don't want to reveal more about the story sure lovely yeah. we we'll look forward to watching yeah, it then yeah, pankaj yeah, yeah. as somebody who is a creative person there's always this point where you sort of uh, you get burnt out yeah i've heard about it but you've not experienced not it not yet okay then what is your secret of not getting burnt out the passion to chase my dreams and i believe in diversity of dreams i feel that everyone should keep on upgrading their dreams because when we dream of something say i dreamt of something when i was 16 and when i'm 26 i'm still chasing that mm. by then the world the trends and requirements of life everything has changed mm-hmm. your uh, intellect has changed your aesthetics has changed so we should keep on upgrading our dreams as well mm-hmm. we should have diversified dreams so there are so many things in our imagination mm-hmm. i i am always pro imagination when i have to pick between knowledge and imagination okay. i am pro imagination because i have always felt that knowledge somehow uh, it makes people a little arrogant mm-hmm. uh, you know when they interact with people who don't know certain things in any area they feel a little arrogant oh you don't know this this mm-hmm. this expression i feel uncomfortable with so i think the purpose of knowledge is getting defeated mm-hmm. it is there to make you a better person not it's the purpose is not to make you an arrogant person so i feel knowledge is there after the advent of google and other search engine you can uh, look for potato chips to computer chips everything is there in google i don't know why do people you ask for phone numbers and people uh, don't share key. and when they share their uh, the phone numbers of other people they'll say don't say that i have given no one cares you can get every info everywhere it's there in public domain so then i thought okay knowledge is there but let me chase imagination because i feel if we can ignite imagination that's the knowledge of future we can do a lot of things so uh it's very interesting yeah. this point about knowledge over imagination especially yeah. in this age of ai yeah 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 so what ai does have it has all the knowledge but it does mm. not have imagination kyunki yes. ai ka to na to dil toota hai na check bounce hua hai yeah how do creative people survive in the age of ai no they are just going to be our assistants they are not going to replace us mind my mark my words ai sirf aapka ek intern ka paisa kam karega jisko pehle hum log search karne bolte the of late we have started thinking google search ko log ab research bolne lage hain mm-hmm. that's again a big problem you know yeah. <laughs> so ek intern ke badle aa jayega ek acha assistant banega but ai can never replace you the creative the human brain yeah 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 
ओके बिकॉज इमोशन आर नॉट एट इमोशन आर नॉट देर सिचुएशन उनका ऐसा हुआ ही नहीं कि उनकी गर्लफ्रेंड उनके बेस्ट फ्रेंड के साथ चली गई ए के साथ कहाँ हुआ ऐसा उसका चेक बाउंस हो गया hmm. हुआ ही नहीं वो कैसे समझाएगा ए कि नहीं पैसे हैं अकाउंट में वो रिफ्लेक्ट नहीं हो रहा है लेकिन चेक बाउंस हो गया दीज लाइफ इंटरपर्सनल सिचुएशन आर नॉट देर सो आई डोंट बिलीव आई डोंट अग्री विद द फैक्ट कि इट्स गोइंग टू रिप्लेस द क्रिएटिव माइंड्स ऑफ सोसाइटी इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू हैपन वो जो पब्लिक डोमेन में वही दिखाता है सो एज दिस से घी शक्कर आपके मुँह में कि नहीं हो वॉट्स कमिंग नेक्स्ट फ्रॉम यू इन द रिटर्न स्पेस सो दिस अनादर स्टोरी बट नाउ वॉट्स वॉट हैज हैपन आई हैव डन टेन सो फार फाइव स्टोरीज टेन टाइटल्स इन टू लैंग्वेजेस एंड द पर्पज इज टू अडेप्ट एंड थिंग्स आर देर इन डिफरेंट स्टेजेस now i'm also contemplating uh, to interact with someone who uh, some studio to do both the things simultaneously for the next work so the book should come when it's up mm-hmm. in the audio visual format okay so both would not cannibalize on each other you think no they are going to have grand synergies okay that's a very interesting thought yeah Yeah. and you also looking uh, you also doing something in the podcast space oh yes my first podcast i did old school romance it's there on audible it's uh, i have talked to some 12 uh, celebrity couples from different walks of life who believe in old school romance it's there uh, on audible and these days i'm doing another one uh, it's called small towns big stories so interesting stories and inspiring stories of small towners and where small town is not a geographical identity mm-hmm. but a lot of other things the thinking the mindset the facilities around and all of that there can be a uh, you know a rural pocket around mumbai only because one of my guests is from uh, ulhasnagar which is so close to mumbai yeah but he had to suffer a lot to reach where he has reached and his story is so inspiring so filmmaker yeah lovely yeah wonderful you have so many different projects going on and yeah. i wonder how you segregate your attention to the hats off to you thank you so much pankaj for your time thanks for taking time out for this conversation thank you kiran lovely talking to you all the best for the movie for the podcast and uh, anything else coming up that we know should know about I don't know a uh, podcast has been covered books movies. are there movies, movies are there what else is left out because uh, yes these are all different platforms yeah and as i initially said i'm platform agnostic <laughs> so the only common thread is stories yeah stories so yeah so waiting for more stories from you pankaj thanks so much for your time thank you kiran thanks